What's up, YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer, MarketingMeatHead.com. Today, I'm going to drop some value about some Facebook things I've been doing after I got crushed the last three days with some crappy traffic. All right, so here we go. This is my uh, numbers of a campaign that I'm running right now. And uh, as you can see here, this is the, the last three days, these three uh, numbers right here. Okay, this is the ROI. And this is the amount of money I actually lost. Okay, so if you add this all up, I'm down uh, uh, 1500 bucks, roughly, maybe 1600 bucks. No! And my ROI just fell off a cliff. I mean, this is a campaign that has been consistently uh, somewhere around like 15% ROI. And uh, I was up to over 18 grand or roughly 18 grand in profit. And then the, uh, you know, the last three days I just got destroyed. I mean, the, the ROI just fell off a cliff. And I didn't change anything, okay? I, I literally did not change anything. I've been running the same campaign now for almost... Um, couple months okay and it's you know I have had some days that I've lost you know 12 percent 13 percent then I'll come back with a big day uh, you know I think my worst day prior was like a negative 33 percent and then just this week I just got destroyed I mean just crushed you know I thought maybe this day was a fluke and you know I'll give it a couple days and then the third day when I got crushed again I said okay you know we got issues here we gotta we gotta either cut this thing off I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna keep losing money like this so we gotta make some changes okay so um, today I made some changes, okay, and and just you know, if you guys know anything about uh, Facebook traffic, typically Fridays are not one of the best days to, to make a profit, okay. They're usually um, okay, and you can sometimes be profitable on Fridays, but you can also lose money on Fridays sometimes. So um, here's the uh, the days today's results, okay, and uh, you can see here this is the 17th. That's I'm filming this on Friday. I'm going to drop this video on Saturday, but uh, if we run the report here for the Friday, the 17th. Um, you'll see here I did, um, let's see where we're at, if it maybe got another conversion. No, let's see. 1740. Okay, so that's what we did. Uh, notice my EPC, the RP, it's called RPC here, revenue per click, but it's actually the earnings per click. Same thing. And um, I'm at 2.96. Okay, 2.96 is right around break even for me. Okay, when I'm like above 3, 3.1, 3 uh, 3.2, I'm pretty profitable. Uh, if I'm anywhere below 3, I'm starting to be negative. Okay, and... Uh, you know, this was today, just today. Okay, let's take a look at uh, uh, the last three days, and we'll see what my average is. We'll see here, 14th through the 16th, and um, take a look at this. You'll see my earnings per click. It, it was terrible. My average for the last three days, and, that, and you know that's hence why I was losing money, like it was going on style. And I didn't change anything. My ads are the same. I've been running the same ads. I got a lot of post engagement. But the the, the interesting thing is that my post IDs. And uh, everything is stronger. Okay, I keep getting good comments. I keep adding more stuff. I keep replying to people, and I, I feel like you know my things are getting stronger. Okay, now it just went back to the Friday here, so I got to go back to the Tuesday to Thursday, and I'll run the report. I, I think my internet just had a glitch there. It's acting a little bit goofy. All right, so here we go. And notice my uh, earnings per click here. At uh, this is the the fourteenth, the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 2.35, terrible, okay, terrible. i losing money at that for sure, okay. So, um, and then, I, you know, I, I was like, man, what is going on here? So I went back and I looked at the, um, basically, from the beginning of July to the 13th, and I wanted to see kind of what my, you know, I've been making money for most of July until just this week, and I wanted to see here what's going on, and you'll see here I'm, I'm averaging 3.05, okay, and 28K in revenue. So that, that puts me at... Um, you know, in the green, okay, and you know, playing around with the, the campaigns and shutting things off at the right time, uh, I can be profitable at a, above three uh, percent, okay. And and the conversion here, check this out, five point oh eight. Where if you noticed before, I was like around uh, around four, I think, or a little less than four. But um, you know, basically, what that tells me is that, that, that Facebook's sending me some crappy traffic, okay. Uh, I haven't really changed anything on my end. My ads are the same. I don't think, you know, all of a sudden my ads just stopped converting. It's not like my, I'm, I'm doing broad audiences. So um, my uh, frequency cap is is very, um, very close to one. Uh, in fact, here uh, is the frequency cap. I'm running out of eight different ad accounts. And this is my frequency cap. And I'm like one, 1.01, 1.11. This is pretty solidly um, not getting showed to the same audience. This is all new audience, okay? So when Facebook sends me crappy traffic and my earnings per click go way down, I'm, I'm getting killed, okay? Um, and this is today's spend, okay? This is what I spent here. I can refresh this and you'll see um, this is, it might've gone up a little bit because I'm still running a retargeting campaign and some video views. So I'm at 1731 
and I think I was at uh, 1740. So I'm, I'm like break even today, okay? And honestly, after uh, the week I've had, okay, uh, Monday was profitable, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I got crushed. Uh, after the week I had, I, I told my one of my partners, I said, listen, man, if I'm break even today, I'm going to do a victory dance, okay? <laughs> like, I, I feel like I accomplished something, okay? So I've got it back to break even, at least, and uh, I'm going into the weekend, and the weekends are typically better on this uh this particular campaign and and just in general for depending on the offer weekends tend to be a little bit better sometimes the offers don't run on the weekends for whatever reason if they're a paper call but uh, for me most of the time in this offer weekends tend to be a little bit better so uh, the fact that I got this back to break even and, and I got a retargeting campaign I wouldn't be surprised if I get another conversion or two and might be actually green today uh, that that's great but what did I do the question is what did I do to get to uh, you know basically from a uh, negative uh, 50% or 50%, 27%, 44%. Uh, let's see what the average of that is. I mean, that is just god awful. I, I, I was like literally uh, upset. Like I, I was starting to get a little upset. I was like, okay, what am I doing wrong here? Do I need to pause this campaign? Do I got to start over? Getting a little annoyed. I'm, I'm four, negative 41% ROI the last three days. Okay. Now, no, no, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm up uh, 16 five still on the campaign overall but uh, you know you take a fifteen hundred dollar kick in the nuts and uh, you start to get a little nervous okay now today I'm gonna be a little break even I might even be green so I started to feel a little better that uh, okay some of the things I'm doing I, I do know what I'm doing and I can make some changes and adjustments on the fly and uh, get some results so let's take a look at and see what I did here um, I'm going to show you this one time but I did this multiple times okay so what I started doing is uh, I have multiple campaigns running in multiple different ad accounts. So I started going through all the campaigns. Uh, I have some CBOs that have been not, not performing very well, but when I go and look inside like a CBO here, I was noticing um, that if I go into the lifetime, okay, make sure we're in lifetime here, uh, cancel. And I was noticing that some of these, you know, were, were pretty good performers. This was 50.9 uh, cost per result, which is not great, but it's not bad. And then here's a couple that were 60. That's that's n losing money. So the only one I had in here that was like um, doing well at 50 was uh, this one. And, uh, now, preferably, I like to be somewhere around like 40 or 42 uh, cost per result on a $60 CPA. And then I'm definitely green. Uh, 50 is starting to push the limits of, you know, some days you're green, some days you're not. Uh, overall, you should be a little bit green, but it's kind of a little bit below my target ROI, which is about 15% on this campaign. But uh, so what I did though is I took this and I duplicated this. Uh, you can go in here and you can always just duplicate it and you can put it into a um, new campaign. So I, what I would do is I'd put it into um, my other campaign that I was actually running. And the CBO I did run today, I did get a purchase today. So I was slightly green. Um, I got one purchase at 58.5. I made a buck 50. Okay, so it was basically break even, like pretty much like it assumes. But what I did is I put that ad set, and I did this in multiple ad accounts. I put that ad set, I duplicated that ad set into my main campaign that I'm running uh, for this. Okay, and this was that, and I, <laughs> this was that duplicate. And notice here today, I got three purchases at 41.17 per purchase. I did the same thing with another ad set here that um, was one of my best performers. I duplicated that. And I made that into uh, a duplicate. Uh, this, this I think before was around 42, and today I ended up getting around 42, three purchases. So because of these two uh, ad sets, basically, I, I turned my campaign from a negative 40% uh, ROI campaign into basically a break-even campaign again, okay? So this is like top of the food chain knowledge here, guys, okay? I, I literally was going down the toilet with this campaign, and I brought it back to break even. Now, what I can do tomorrow, uh, being that it's a Saturday and I could probably be a little bit riskier, I might duplicate this again and duplicate this again. And I'll do that in multiple different ad accounts. And hopefully, you know, crossing my fingers here, uh, if this, you know, starts, if Facebook gives me some decent traffic, uh, I should be, you know, back into the green again. Okay. But, um, you know, that's the thing when it comes to affiliate marketing is you need to understand, uh, you know what to do when things don't all go right because they don't always go right okay uh your, your every day is not going to be your best day okay you're going to have ups and downs in this campaign uh in any campaign and some days you're just going to be scratching your head and you just go on to the next day and things go back to normal um this little stint that i had this week where i had three days in a row where i just took a absolute beating uh that hasn't happened in this campaign yet so this was you know this was a new arise in this campaign so uh, what I did is, you know, I, I did, I found found the best ad sets in all my different campaigns that I had. I duplicated those into my main campaign that I was running, and um, 
again, in this case, it, it worked. Okay, in this particular uh, account, it worked. This one, this one didn't work. Okay, uh, I don't think I spent any money here. Yeah, for some reason, this one didn't even uh, didn't even run. But um, but th these two actually produced uh, nice results for me today. Okay, um, actually, I don't know why that didn't run. I'll have to look into that. But you know, the fact that I did that and it worked and I got $42 uh, results and I got the campaign back to even got me excited again about this campaign uh, after I was feeling a little bit down about it and whatnot. So, um, you know, moral of the story here is when you see something going down the drain, uh, you can't just let it go down the drain. You got to make some changes, okay? Make some changes, try some things, and uh, hopefully get it back to at least break even. And then, you know, you can start trying more things. If that worked, then, you know, duplicate it again and try it again and see if you can get it back to a green um, you know ROI okay so that's uh, that's the lesson for today uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, top of the food chain um, you know I guess scaling if you will or uh, Facebook uh, uh, you know duplicating knowledge but uh, make sure you like this video if you appreciate the content and if you um, share it with your friends and uh, subscribe and bang that notifications bell I would appreciate it this channel's growing. Uh, I am working on the, uh, the DES, the Digital Entrepreneur System course. If you'd like to know more of these tricks and tips and the kind of stuff that really makes us a lot of money in this business, uh, I'm going to be putting it all on in the course, and it's going to be structured very well. So even like a newbie can take the course and become an expert affiliate marketer over the course of eight weeks. Uh, make sure you sign up on my link below. I'm the Marketing Meathead. We'll talk to you later.